just weeks after SpaceX captivated audiences with the precision landing of the massive rocket booster, the company has embarked on another test flight of the most powerful launch vehicle ever constructed. Once again, SpaceX attempted the groundbreaking maneuver of catching the booster using the mechanical arms, nicknamed chopsticks, of its towering launch structure. However, this ambitious plan encountered setbacks as SpaceX was forced to abort the booster catching attempt. Why did this happen? Adding to the excitement of the day's events was the unexpected appearance of former U.S. President Donald Trump, well, I should say, President-elect Donald Trump, marking a surprising twist in this already thrilling moment. What did Elon Musk have to say about it all? Let's dive into all the details in today's episode of Alpha Tech. The nearly 400 foot tall or 121 meter Starship system soared into the skies on November 19th from SpaceX's Starbase facility near Brownsville, Texas. This monumental event marked a critical milestone in SpaceX's testing campaign for the world's most powerful rocket. The two-stage mega-rocket featuring the Starship spacecraft stacked atop the Super Heavy booster lifted off during a 30-minute window that opened up at 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Tuesday. What made this test particularly remarkable was the unprecedented turnaround time, just one month since the previous test flight, a stark contrast to the months-long intervals seen in earlier tests. As the countdown clock hit zero, the Super Heavy Booster's 33 Raptor engines roared to life, generating an awe-inspiring 16 million pounds of thrust. Fueled by a mix of liquid oxygen and methane, the colossal rocket surged eastward over the Gulf of Mexico, leaving a trail of dazzling fire and a thick plume of exhaust. After burning most of its fuel, the Super Heavy Booster separated from the Starship spacecraft. The plan was for it to perform a controlled descent and execute a precision landing into the mechanical arms, nicknamed Mechazilla, of the launch tower at Starbase. This maneuver, if successful, would have been a first-of-its-kind achievement in rocketry. However, conditions were not deemed favorable for the ambitious catching attempt. Instead, the booster splashed down in the Gulf of Mexico off the Texas coast. SpaceX spokesperson Dan Hoot clarified the decision, explaining that not all the necessary conditions were met for a safe return and catch. Analogous to the fifth flight test, distinct vehicle and pad criteria must be met prior to a return and catch of the Super Heavy booster, which will require healthy systems on the booster and tower and a final manual command from the mission's flight director, Hoot stated. He continued, if this command is not sent prior to the completion of the boost back burn, or if automated health checks show unacceptable conditions with Super Heavy or the tower, the booster will default to a trajectory that makes it to a landing burn and soft splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico. We accept no compromises when it comes to ensuring the safety of the public and our team, and the return will only take place if conditions are right. Although the exact issue has yet to be confirmed, reliable sources suggest a potential problem with the communication system between the booster and the tower. The booster relies heavily on real-time positioning data from the tower to triangulate its precise location during descent. This data acts like an ultra-precise GPS system, critical for guiding the booster into Mechazilla's arms. The navigation system's complexity cannot be overstated. It must calculate the booster's position to within centimeters while accounting for rapid speeds, varying atmospheric conditions, and any unexpected variables. If the communication link failed or delivered delayed or inaccurate data, the booster's ability to land safely would have been compromised. Several factors likely contributed to the decision to abort the booster catching attempt. Malfunctions or miscalibrations in the onboard navigation and control systems could have disrupted the booster's descent trajectory. While the mechanical catching arms, which must be perfectly aligned and synchronized with the booster, could have encountered issues. Additionally, unexpected changes in weather and wind conditions may have created challenges during the descent, further complicating the landing. Above all, SpaceX prioritizes safety, so if any backup system flagged potential risks, the flight team likely chose caution to avoid compromising the mission. Despite the setback, this cautious approach aligns with SpaceX's development philosophy. 
The company values the hardware and data obtained from every test flight, recognizing the importance of preserving resources for future testing. Skipping the catch attempt prevents unnecessary damage to the booster, allowing SpaceX to refine its systems for subsequent tests. As Jessica Anderson, a manufacturing engineer manager at SpaceX aptly stated during the live broadcast, development testing by definition is unpredictable, but that is exactly why we test. Indeed, SpaceX's systematic step-by-step -step approach to solving complex challenges has been a hallmark of its success. Each test flight provides valuable insights, enabling the company to improve the reliability of its systems and eventually achieve its ambitious goals. The ultimate objective is to create a fully reusable rocket system capable of drastically reducing launch costs and turnaround times. Achieving this requires mastering the intricate process of catching the Super Heavy booster with Mechazilla, a feat far more complex than landing Falcon 9 boosters on drone ships or landing pads. It's worth noting that even the Falcon 9, a workhorse of modern rocketry, faced challenges during its early landing tests. Today, it boasts over 370 successful booster landings, a testament to SpaceX's relentless pursuit of innovation. Similarly, catching the Super Heavy booster will take time, iterative improvements, and countless tests before it becomes routine. This test flight also demonstrated other successes. The booster performed as expected during ascent, delivering the Starship spacecraft to its intended separation point. Every step forward, no matter how small, brings SpaceX closer to its ultimate goal enabling humanity to become a multi-planetary species. One of the most inspiring aspects of SpaceX is its unyielding optimism and resilience. Every challenge is met with the same determination to innovate, improve, and succeed. As Elon Musk often emphasizes, failure is simply a stepping stone to success. While the road ahead is long and filled with obstacles, there's little doubt that SpaceX will eventually master the art of catching the Super Heavy Booster. When that happens, it will represent a groundbreaking leap for space exploration and pave the way for humanity's next giant leap to the moon, Mars, and beyond. Let's keep watching as SpaceX continues to turn science fiction into reality, one test flight at a time. Another notable aspect of SpaceX's Starship Flight 6 launch was the presence of Donald Trump, reminiscent of his attendance at SpaceX's first crewed launch in Florida back in 2020 during his first term. Honored to have President Donald Trump at our Starship launch, Elon Musk said on X. Trump flew to Texas earlier in the afternoon to watch the launch and booster recovery with Musk during a campaign speech in Wilmington, North Carolina on September 21st, Trump urged Musk, get those rocket ships going because we want to reach Mars before the end of my term. We want to do it. Ahead of the launch, Trump expressed his enthusiasm online, calling it an opportunity to witness the largest object ever elevated to space. Although the booster's planned catch with SpaceX's chopsticks system was unsuccessful, Trump seemed energized by the experience, signaling potential government backing for SpaceX's ambitious goals. Trump's interest raises the question, how might Starship's future unfold under his administration? With a possible return to the presidency, the aerospace sector could see increased support for innovation. Renowned space journalist Eric Berger remarked that the success or failure of this flight could influence space policy as the next administration takes shape. Starship embodies Musk's vision of humanity as a multiplanetary species. Trump's public endorsement could accelerate progress toward this goal. Recently, Trump appointed Musk and former presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy to head a new Department of Government Efficiency aimed at reducing bureaucracy and fostering innovation. Musk declared, this will send shockwaves through the system. Criticizing government inefficiencies and highlighting the potential for streamlined operations, SpaceX's deep ties to U.S. government programs already position it as a key player in the aerospace industry. With multi-billion dollar contracts from NASA and the Department of Defense, SpaceX is developing a specialized starship for NASA's Artemis program, which aims to return humans to the moon. Under a Trump administration, such partnerships could expand, potentially accelerating lunar and Martian exploration timelines. Experts see this as a pivotal moment. Casey Dreyer, the Planetary Society's space policy director, noted, We're witnessing a serious push toward lunar return and perhaps the beginnings of Mars infrastructure. While human missions to Mars may take years, the groundwork being laid is crucial for future success. 
Musk envisions uncrewed Starship missions to Mars by 2026, stressing landing and operational capabilities. If successful, crewed flights could follow during subsequent Earth-Mars alignments, occurring every 26 months. This timeline underscores Musk's drive to push the boundaries of space exploration. Starship's potential extends beyond interplanetary missions. Musk has proposed using the vehicle for suborbital passenger flights, which could transform commercial aviation by enabling travel halfway around the world in under an hour. A Trump administration could facilitate this vision by expediting regulatory approval through the Federal Aviation Administration. Despite challenges, Starship represents the pinnacle of aerospace innovation. Its fully reusable design and ability to carry unprecedented payloads promise to revolutionize satellite deployment, space tourism, and planetary colonization. Each test launch, regardless of setbacks, moves SpaceX closer to its goals. Trump's involvement and Musk's ambition highlight the growing collaboration between government and private industry. This partnership could usher in a new golden age of space exploration, combining political support with visionary engineering. Ultimately, Starship is more than a rocket. It's a vision for humanity's future. Whether supporting lunar exploration, enabling Earth-to-Earth -Earth travel, or establishing Martian colonies, Starship embodies the drive to expand our horizons. With sustained support from political leaders and scientists alike, humanity's dream of venturing beyond Earth may soon become a reality. Thanks for tuning in to Alpha Tech. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.